Day two in the trial of the Southern Indiana man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend and eating parts of her body had just wrapped up. Evidence from the scene and photographs of the home were shown in court today in Southern Indiana. We do want to warn you that, of course, some of the details in this ongoing case are disturbing. It has been with us for years now. Abby Lutz is live outside the courthouse with where the case stands and who testified today. Abby? Yeah, Doug, the, the, the court just wrapped up just a few minutes ago, as you mentioned. Eight witnesses took the stand today. Most of those officers who responded to the home of Tammy Blanton on the day of her death. They testified to finding Joseph Oberhansley inside the home and blood all throughout it. Gruesome details and telling testimony in day two of the Joseph Oberhansley murder trial. Officers who first got to Tammy Blanton's home for a welfare check in 2014 took the stand, testifying to finding Oberhansley there with a bloody knife inside his pocket. An investigating detective testified to finding Tammy Blanton's body in the bathtub with a piece of her skull removed. Officers described blood on the walls, light switches, and doorknobs inside the home. Evidence taken from the scene and shown in court included bloody tools, bloody towels, bloody cookware, and a plate and silverware with organ pieces on it. One detective also testified to finding evidence of forced entry not just into the home, but into the bathroom where Blanton's body was found. As responding officers questioned on the stand, the defense and cross-examination continued to question them on Oberhansley's behavior, questioning his demeanor, if he seemed dangerous or agitated. I think it's important for the jury to see the whole picture. There's a lot of things going on in this case, and I'm not going to discuss sp specific pieces of evidence, but there's a lot of things going on in this case that when the jury becomes aware of them, things happening with Joseph, I think it will paint the evidence in a totally different light. Now, Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mole has said he will not be making a public comment during this trial. Trial is set to start again tomorrow morning with the state's eighth witness. I'm live in Jeffersonville, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.